Hello there gorgeous gamers and welcome back to another Pure Play TV video review and this time we've got Ari and the Secret of Seasons for PS4, Xbox One, Nintendo Switch and PC. You are probably thinking that Ari and the Secret of Seasons looks an awful lot like The Legend of Zelda and that's because it does. But there's no shame in that I suppose. It's not the first game to do it and it won't be the last. Besides if you're gonna pay homage to an old game then one of Link's grand adventures would be a great place to start. But does Little Ari give us gamers a journey worth its obvious inspiration? Or is it just another cheap knockoff destined for irrelevance? The story goes a little something like this. A feisty little girl named Ari lives in a world called Valdi with her mother, father and her big brother. Valdi is separated into four regions, with each of these regions representing a season. Ari's homeland is supposed to be winter, but something has sent the world into chaos. Summer is winter, and winter is summer, and now all hell is breaking loose. This sounds like a job for the Guardian of Winter. Unfortunately, Ari's father is the Guardian of Winter, and when we meet him, he is inconsolable after an accident that has left him in a wheelchair, and also his son is missing. When we meet Ari, like Arya Stark from Game of Thrones, she is desperate to be taken seriously as a girl in a man's world. But unlike the girl with no name, our Ari is not a stealthy killing machine born in the fiery pits of revenge, but instead she is an adorable young girl who is both brave and resilient. After Ari finds her brother's wooden sword, she cuts her hair, steals her missing brother's clothes and sets off to save the world. Most of the game's dialogue is written out on the screen and accompanied by grunts and moans that serve as an indicator for the speaker's mood and intent. But there is over an hour of animated cutscenes with full voice acting that really shine in showing just how adorable but tough Ari really is. This is just one of the many examples of how the developers managed to raise the bar on what to expect from an indie game in this genre. Ari and the Secret of Seasons is an action-adventure platformer that bears a strong resemblance to many of your favourite games from the late 90s. You'll find or purchase weapons along the way and find plenty of treasure chests full of booty. you also need to acquire several gadgets to open up new areas, like boots that allow double jumps, a magic ring, or Link as it's called, that allows you to drag certain items around. The one aspect of the game that sets it apart is Ari's ability to harness the seasons. Early on, you'll be able to create a small bit of winter around you. This feels like you're in a snow globe, and it's quite cool. Eventually, you'll be able to wield all four seasons, and you'll need to do this in battles and to solve puzzles. Need to cross a river but you can't because of its strong current? Then freeze it. Or maybe you need to thaw a giant wall of ice. There's an app for that too. It's a unique mechanic that takes some practice, but it's pretty cool when you get the hang of it. The world of Valdi is larger and more diverse than I expected. It's full of environmental puzzles and it generally rewards treasure hunters. The platforming is solid and mainly feels fluid. With jumping, double jumping, dodge rolls, you really feel in control of Ari when bouncing around the world. Unfortunately, I can't say the same about the combat. You'll use various swords and maces throughout the game, and I got a slingshot early on. This slingshot was more than a nuisance to enemies early on, but what can I say? I like to have ranged weapons. It probably stems from my desire to avoid confrontation. But anyway, the slingshot is equipped at all times, so it's a good way to start a fight and get a few blows in before we clash swords. Sadly though, the combat never came together for me. There is a parry button that was way too inconsistent to use, as simply jumping or rolling away worked better. Also, you can't do two things at the same time, which always rubs me the wrong way. By that, I mean when you jump, you can't swing your weapon until you land. It's not the only game that does this, but it does feel like a cut corner. Swing, swing, roll and repeat until all of the enemies are dead. The bosses require a little more strategy, but it's still missing something. Besides the combat, the menu system doesn't feel quite done yet either. You can equip different weapons, but there's no way of knowing which one is better. Does this mace do one point more damage than the sword I just found? I need to know. You can purchase upgrades to your weapon skills, combat agility and your ability to control the seasons, but no numbers to fully explain the improvements. Means that you don't know what you're doing. 
My slingshot went from doing nearly zero damage to killing many enemies in one hit with zero changes from me. I still have no idea why this happened. In addition, the map and the minimap are both completely necessary to complete the game, but they're a constant pain in the bum to use. For one, you can't set a destination on the map, and the marker that is highlighted is still more difficult to find than it really should be. Also, the button you use to pan the camera around the map in every other game on the planet will instead select the next section of the menu. I would screw this up at least half the time. Yes, that is mostly my fault, obviously, but it's my review and I'll complain about whatever I want. But seriously, the menu system is ugly, cumbersome, and it's missing some really important information. The good news is that the gameplay, aside from average combat, is fun to play and rewarding to experience. Ari is adorable and wholesome, so much so that you can't help but root for her. The story is full of the kind of lore classic adventure and RPG games are known for, which is to say, predictable but satisfying at the same time. For its considerably low retail price, this indie game offers a great adventure with a sweet hero that the whole family can enjoy. And that brings us to the end of this video review. I hope you enjoyed it and found it useful. If you haven't already joined the Pure Play Army, hit them like and subscribe buttons down below. And don't forget to check out the info box for our social media channels and websites. I've been Chris, you've been lovely. Let's do this again soon, yeah? Until then, bye!